Tanana is located on the Yukon River at the confluence of the Tanana River. Tanana is about 250 people. We've converted all the community facilities over to high efficiency wood heat. We're displacing approximately 40,000 gallons of imported petroleum annually from a city and a school standpoint. We needed $95,000 to pay the fuel bill. It became obvious to them that you could fire that school, you know, using the Garns units. Savings was going to be tremendous. Fuel oil probably runs 350 a gallon. We have about 10,000 gallons in reserve. So if this quits for the year, we can still run off of fuel oil for the year. But at $3.50 a gallon, this uh, is significantly cheaper as far as the cost of, of the wood goes. This facility consumed 20,000 gallons of imported heating fuel annually. We have three Garn 2000 boilers, and they burn about 200 cords of wood annually, which uh, displaces approximately 20,000 gallons of imported petroleum. Large-scale uh, mechanized harvesting, we can reduce the costs uh, to a third of the typical cordwood cost at Tanana. So by utilizing local woody resources, we are able to employ locals to uh, harvest the wood, process the wood, and operate the boilers. So water plant Washateria buys wood from locals we can now harvest and transport wood to Tannin for approximately $100 a cord. I remember just, you know, catching two or three with a boom, you know, a, a hook on the end of a rope and putting together till you had a raft and you just kept adding to it. You don't need a lot of money to harvest wood. The road could not come to Tananal. Tananal is on the north side of the Yukon River, and the road terminates on the south side of the Yukon River. So in the summertime, folks have to uh, park their uh, vehicle and boat to Tananal. And then in the wintertime, the city and the tribe build an ice road from the terminus to Tananal. And we've done that for the last four years and that allows us to have year-round surface access during the winter months all the way from Tanana to, to urban Alaska. We were able to convince the Department of Transportation and our village corporation to sit in a limited to save the wood harvested along the easement for use in the community and so we transport wood from the road easement on an annual basis and bring it to the community and it's used to heat our community facilities.